We all know how powerful N8 is for automating tasks. You can build workflows that save hours of manual work. But here's the problem. Running them usually means opening the N8 workflow again and again. And if someone else wants to use it, they'll probably need to access and get lost in all the nodes and settings. So instead of generating output in N8, what if I could turn the workflow into a web app like this? In this video, I'll show you how you can convert any N8 workflow into a fully functioning web app where anyone can open the web page, give the input and instantly get the results. I'm Brian from Website Learners and let's get started. So to build our app, first we're going to use a sample workflow that I have already built. So we're going to use this workflow as an example, but you can use this method with any workflow you have. And this is a virtual try-on video generator that I have created. And it takes a product image and pastes it on an AI model and then it generates a 15 to 30 second video showing how the product would actually look when someone wears it. Pretty cool, right? Now to convert this N8 automation into a web application like this, we are going to do 5 steps. The first step is to add the input node to the workflow. So we are going to use webhook as an input node. This acts as a bridge between your app and the N8 workflow. Since the web app will handle the form submission, we don't need this existing trigger. So let's remove it and replace it with a webhook node. So to add the webhook node, just click on this node, then click delete and it will be removed. Now click on the plus icon and search for webhook. Then select it. Now click on this drop down and choose post. Then here you can see the webhook URL. If you want, you can make it more clear by changing the path name. Just go to the path field and enter the preferred name you want. After that, click on the response field and choose using respond to webhook node. Once that is done, click here to go back. Then drag and connect this webhook to this node. And we have successfully added the input node. Now we can go to the next step, which is to add the output node. So we have to add the output node to the end of our workflow. This will then send the final result back to the web app so users can instantly see the results. So to add the output node, just click on this plus icon and search for respond to webhook. Then click here and choose JSON. Now we need to define what type of output this workflow should send back. In this example, we'll be sending the video URL as the output. So click on expression, remove the existing text and enter video URL as the key. Next, also you can input any value here based on your needs. Next, we need to assign a value to it. To do that, remove this text. Then drag the field that contains the video URL from the previous node and drop it here. Keep in mind, this step may vary depending on your workflow. For example, if your workflow generates a different output like an image or a document, you'll need to select and draw the relevant field for that output instead. Once that is done, click here to go back. And that's it. We have successfully added the output node. We're going to use the AI tool which will let you quickly generate a working web app by simply giving a prompt. So let's go to the next step, which is to create an account on the AI tool. So to create an account, just click the link in the description and it will take you to Love Build. Now click Get Started and sign up with your Google account. You will get this page where you can create a web app you need. Okay, once you've created an account, we can go to the next step which is to convert our workflow into a web application on Lovable. To convert our workflow into a web app, first we need to enter a prompt on Lovable on how we want our web app to look and work. So instead of writing the prompt on your own, we can make it much easier by using ChatGPT. To create the prompt, let's go to ChatGPT and sign up with your Google account. Lovable needs a detailed prompt to understand your idea and build the web app correctly. So I have prepared a ready to use instruction template for you that you can give to ChatGPT, so you don't have to type anything manually. So to get the template, just click the link below this video. Here's the template that you can use. So let's copy this template. Then go back to ChatGPT and paste it here. Now it'll ask you a few details that you need to enter. So first it'll ask you your NA10 webhook URL. To get this, go to NA10, click on this webhook node, Copy the URL, then come back and paste it here. Next, it'll ask a short description of your workflow. So just enter a quick overview of what it does. 
then it will ask what type of input that you provide to the web application. Since the input for our workflow is an image, I am going to enter image uploading field. And finally, it will ask you to add the exact JSON code. To get the JSON code, go to NATN, click on this node, copy this JSON code, then come back and paste it here. Then remove the text inside the code. Now this is where you define what your web app will receive as the output. It could be a video URL, an image file or any other result depending on your workflow. Once you have given all the details, ChatGPT will generate the prompt for you. Now you can add this prompt to Lovable to convert your NATN automation into a web app. So just copy this prompt, then go to Lovable and paste it here. Once you have added the prompt, Lovable will start building the web application. And there you go, your web application is now ready. It has a clean and simple interface and you can generate as many virtual try-on videos as you want. Okay, now that our web application is ready, let's test it and see how it works. To test it, first go to N810, click on Execute Workflow, then go to Lovable and upload the product image that you want to turn into a virtual video. So I'm going to upload the image of a t-shirt and click Generate Video. And your video will start generating on the N810 workflow. Once the workflow is executed, now if you go to Lovable and scroll down, you will see the output here. And if you play the video, you can see that an AI model is wearing the t-shirt that you have uploaded. And also, you can download the video directly from here. And it will be downloaded to your computer. So now we have successfully converted our workflow into a web application and we can go to the final step, which is to publish the web application. This makes the web app live so anyone can use it directly. So to make a web application live, let's go back to N810. Then click on the webhook node. Now set the webhook URL as production URL. And once that is done, copy the link. Then click here. And finally activate the workflow. So let's click here to activate it. And click on got it. Once you have done that, now go to Lovable. Type change to this webhook URL and then paste the link that we copied earlier. And the webhook URL will be updated. Now to make this web application live, we need to publish the web app. So let's click on publish. And if you want to change the website address, click here and change it. Once you're done, again click publish. And your web app is successfully published and live on the internet. And you'll also get this link to your web app here. So just click on this link and you will see a web application. So let's test it and see how it works. Upload the product image here and click generate video. And as you can see, it works perfectly. Okay, so this is how you can easily convert your animated automation into a web application. In the same way, you can convert any animated automation that you have created. You can also improve this app by adding a user authentication so only logged in users can access it. To do this, you need to connect Superbase. Just go to integrations and select Superbase. It lets you quickly add secure user login and manage your database. So that's how you convert your NATN automation into a web application along with the sign up page. And if you want ready made workflows, we've pre built NATN workflow templates on WebSpace Kit. You can download and set them instantly. Just click the link in the description and check it out. Also, you can get our latest videos directly on WhatsApp. You can just scan the QR or tap the link and hit follow. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.